Dream to become the next Sir Isaac Newton or Albert Einstein? Learn C++. From Professor Saborno Isaac Bari. We're going to be looking at something called a class. Now, what is a class? It's basically a capsule. It's basically like a function. It's a capsule. And not just any capsule. It can contain functions and variables. Define a class. Hmm, uh, so class number. So now yeah. let us make some functions. So let us make some functions. So uh, one second. So, um, let's take a second to make a function void number. So, void number one and then count this. Is the number one and now cap? So that's going to be our first function. But oh, whoa! But that's not going to be our whole thing. This is just the beginning. Let's make a number two. the number three so that seems like a good few numbers so now hmm I feel like we should go to the main but before doing that I would just like to uh, point out a tiny mistake I made this is supposed to be uh, over here where is that there. These are supposed to match up, I believe. Uh, no? Respective. Oh, yeah. Semicolon after class, and I have no idea. Wait, what the? Oh, yeah, yeah. So, you have to put this, this. Alright. So, remember numbers? Oh. I copied numbers. Okay. So, now those were quite a few problems there, but we fixed them. So, here is a class I made, but if we just take the int main and do nothing else, well then, nothing will happen. We can only access everything here. Speaking of accessing, if you want to access something easily using the main, you should put public before. So, now let's put something in the int main. So, let's try proof of concept. Proof of concept. So, how? Wait, first. is immeasurable or three so but first I'm going to make a variable I'm going to call it number remember to not make it remember to not make it 
uh, the same name, remember to not make a variable or anything else in that matter, the same name as a class. The computer will get a bit confused. As you can see, if I type in numbers, the computer, oh yeah, this isn't, this isn't uh, outside the main, so it won't get confused right now. So double numbers, number, under one, two, and three, sin number. So now if number equal equal one, we, uh, we have to make an off. Oh, whoa, where did that come from? Never mind what that did, but why do we need an object? Well, say you have a few different functions, but they have a, uh, a function, but they have different functions to do different commands, but they, uh, those uh, functions have the same exact name. How do you differentiate them from each other? I mean, how does C++ differentiate them from each other? Well, you can use an object to differentiate. So, in this case, I'm just going to, uh, in this case, you only have to enter numbers, the class, and then the name of the variable, what you want the name of the variable to be. So, I'm going to call it, okay, num. So, if we put num dot, hmm, oh yeah, number one, that will run that function. So, we've made a capsule of number equal to num number two and finally uh, you can make this three three and then let's see what happens when we first enter in one okay so this is the number one and then if we run the program again, and here we have the number two, because I entered two. And then three, and finally we have the number three. So what I do is I make an if statement, uh, so I uh, make a variable. So first I make some functions in a capital that is a class, and then I make it so that I make it so that function contains no that class contains a few functions such as number one, number two, and number three, and then I make an object and then dot separator and then I make an if statement that uh, and then I make a variable and uh, that it depends on the user input. And then I put a few if statements running uh, each of the corresponding um, each of the corresponding functions. So with that, bye. Subscribe to Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science, especially programming.